Digital transformation, like the transformation of a city, is a never-ending process. But why is it so important right now? Well, what we're seeing in economies worldwide is concentration. We're seeing network effects and winner takes all. This sort of changes things in lots and lots of industries. If we think about the classic digital transformations, we think of FANG, Facebook, Apple, Netflix, and Google. These are companies that are really, really pushing it into a winner takes all sort of situation. In various segments of the economy, challenges are increasing. It used to be that you could be any one of five, six, seven major players. Now, it's increasingly feeling like if you're not one or two, or even number one, you're in real trouble. Like I say, this is happening across industries. What are we seeing in terms of digital transformation, and what does it mean in terms of how organizations are running their IT? Well, we've seen a massive transformation. Waterfall isn't working. We're seeing reshoring. Those outsourcing contracts need to be cancelled. We need to bring stuff closer to the user, the developers closer to the user. Agile development, waterfall's dead. We're increasingly taking a DevOps approach, bringing together the developers, all of the practitioners, the DBAs, network monitoring, everyone into a team. We're moving from projects to products. That's a fundamental shift. Why are we doing this? Well, we have to move quickly. This digital transformation means speed is of the essence. We need to be able to deliver new features to market more quickly. Nicole Forsgren has done some amazing work here uh, through her organization, Dora. They've shown that organizations that move and develop applications more quickly are also developing more stable apps. They've taken advantage of DevOps, test-driven development, agile, all of these new disciplines, and that's what we're expecting and needing. So, what does this mean for traditional organizations with traditional IT? It does mean, as I've said, they're going to have to reinvest in skills, but they're also going to have to invest more smartly in the platforms they use. One of the platforms we see that's really worth considering is the venerable mainframe. You could call it legacy. I'd call it a transaction platform. So let's think about that. What does it mean? Suppose I'm going to use my mobile phone. I'm going to do a kayak search. So I go here, I go to kayak. What do I do? When I'm searching, frankly, what I'm doing is kicking off transactions across a number of different mainframes. That happens all the time. Mainframe has been part of this digital transformation since as long as the internet's actually been a thing. If we think about retail, finance, airlines, telecoms, all of that stuff continues to use mainframes. Uh, those core transaction platforms where so much of the value resides are there. So how do we bring that into the new world? Well, IBM's done a lot of engineering to make it applicable. So you can build new applications that run on the mainframe. Linux runs on the mainframe. A lot of the environments that modern developers like to target, Redis, MongoDB and so on, Spark, we can run all of that on the mainframe. But of course, the traditional applications and services also need to be brought along. So how do we have DevOps? How can we actually bring that into the fold? Again, this is about engineering work that IBM is doing. A really interesting new project in this regard is called Zoe, Z-O-W-E, from the Open Mainframe Project hosted by the Linux Foundation. IBM, its arch competitor, CA, and Rocket Software have all come together to create an environment that's really trying to modernize some of the mainframe application development. So you've got a new set of RESTful interfaces, uh, you've got a command line interface, uh, you've got a data explorer, and indeed an API gateway to make it easier to access those mainframe services. So the fact that these competitors are working together in an open source way is really about this mainframe becoming a much more open phenomenon. So I've talked about skills, and that really ties this all together. I think that's super important. If you look at some of the education programs that are available um, in North Carolina, for example, basically every developer that goes through that, learning these mainframe skills, is going to get a guaranteed job at somewhere like Bank of America. But I think bringing these new environments to bear means that a new set of developers can become part of taking advantage of the mainframe, getting more out of it, and definitely there are jobs there. And frankly, employment never goes out of fashion. Yes, there's definitely a lot of competition for talent, but a guaranteed job remains an important thing. And certainly lowering the barriers to entry makes it more viable to see the mainframe as a platform that can be part of a digital transformation. And that's what it's all about. And just as cities evolve, so does the mainframe. That's the digital transformation that I'm talking about. All platforms need to be part of it. Thank you.